everybody, it's Michelle Patterson here with Angel Souls, and this is our daily inspiration card reading. Thank you all so much for your support and for liking and sharing, subscribing. Uh, it helps me out a ton. And if you would like a personal reading with me, just go to angelsouls444.com. Let's see what we have. Feel free to pair these up with the other daily readings. They're all timeless. Even if there's a date on it, treat it like it's timeless. You know what I mean? Let me get organized here. Okay. <laughs> All right, we have watch your thoughts. Watch your thoughts. It's important to think only about what you desire, not what you fear. Now, let's be careful with that because this this is kind of an old-fashioned take on manifesting, which is never face your problems. <laughs> but if you look, I don't know if that's going to pick up on the camera, but she's looking into a mirror, okay? To me, that's self-examination and taking accountability, you know, for yourself and for your actions, and not, so this would be that kind of thing. I don't know why this example is coming up. If you go off and you act entitled, for example, and you don't care about what you're doing to someone else. And then finally that karma comes back to you and then you're whining because you got karma, bad karma for it. And then you get mad at the person that you were victimizing in the first place. Not that any of you would be doing this, but you know, you know the type, right? And then you get mad at the person who you victimized because you got karma. Oh, it's so weird. And it happens more than you think. Observe the world around you, okay? <laughs> but this whole idea of not um, ever facing your troubles, that's not 100% accurate. Let me explain. If you are going to be manifesting something and you really, really want it, you really, really want it, and maybe you do need some self-examination because you're not a vibrational match for the thing you're trying to manifest, then you're going to have some examples flung up in your face about what you do fear. Now, if you pretend like it's not there and you avoid, you never get your manifestation. But if you have, let's say, a toxic love partner pop back up and you see it as toxic and you feel really good, like, okay, I see the universe is either showing me how far I've come or that I still have more to learn. Either way, it's a step towards your manifestation, okay? So don't avoid, but don't let it take you over. <laughs> don't do that either. You don't wanna get down the road of, I need to be scared of the world because every time I step out my door, someone's trying to mess with me or do whatever. It's not that. So whatever comes up, make sure you're sitting with it before you move on, okay? And clear that up. But it's all about taking accountability. And the watch your thoughts part, I think then goes into, okay, this stuff is happening. It's in front of me. I'm processing it. I can handle whatever comes my way. And let that shift your emotional positioning from, oh, God, I'm scared. I don't, I don't know what's going to happen to, all right, this is, you might even say, hey, this is a mess. <laughs> this is a mess. But little by little, I will figure it out because I always do. You want proof of that? You're sitting right here. That's proof that you have survived quite a bit. All right? Remember that. So we're going to leave it there. I'm sending you all so much love and take care.